In this video we're going to produce some sound. Uh, we're going to use some interactive components as well and some decision logic and simple logic controls. Uh, on the screen here I have a project. Uh, I have a number of components inside a single module in the system. We don't have any system inputs or outputs. Uh, we're just kind of working internally right now. Uh, but you can see we have eight different types of components on the screen. Uh, we have a number from uh, the utility components palette. We have a constant and we have set that to zero. And uh, we have a random number generator that generates an integer from one to four, our recycle. Uh, we then have, let's stick with the utility components, uh, a timer. And that timer is from right here. Uh, the timer is set for every default uh, 500 milliseconds. So it triggers an event, it's default on uh, every half of a second. Uh, we just have an indicator light here that's hooked up and uh, we have that set to green when that uh, trigger event occurs. Um, but over here is really where the action is. These are the sound components. Uh, these come from the utility components palette as well. And so that's the sim action sound component. And uh, it's a very simple component. It has a play and a stop and, um, and no output. The output is actually auditory. Uh, so if I double click on this, we're going to go inside and we just simply select a sound. We've selected the one dot wave sound. We can one. test it. And that's one. the sound there. And um, uh, we have done the same thing for the sound for two, three, four, and then we have some drums here down that we're going to manually control. Uh, but we're going to demonstrate a couple things. One is the plane of sound. Two is the manual plane of that sound. Three is the automatic plane of that sound given a value uh, in a timer event. And then also simultaneous sounds. So we're going to play the drums in the background as these things are firing. Um, but other components that you'll notice here, other than the utility components, are, well, the uh, OR component, the uh, any true or or component which takes any number of values um, you just simply drag it to the screen and uh, it'll look like this when you first drag it to the screen it says drag and drop connections onto components to add inputs when you do uh, it'll create an input and make the connection and for this particular let's delete this one get it out of the way uh, for this particular one uh, we've got a button input and uh, we also have a the segmenter multiple which takes a value and then segments that and then fires one of those segments as true if it lies within that range uh, that would be true so if it's one it'll fire there these would be zeros if it's two this will fire three this will fire four so these ors uh, or components basically say if you press the button or I receive a command from the segmenter here I'm gonna go ahead and fire this sound and so um, what I'm going to do, everything's off, I'm just going to run the simulator and as you would expect no sounds are occurring but if I press this button then this sound will fire. One. If I press this one it'll fire this sound. Two. And because this OR event was true. Uh, three, three and four. four. And if I press this one we'll hear drums. Let's stop those. You'll notice there is a stop control on these. You can play multiple sounds, so we can have the drums playing in the background. Four, three, fire two, these other sounds. one, two, three. But if one sound is fairly long, you may want to be able to control it and shut it down. Um, so we're still simulating right now. And we have the random number generator set up to generate numbers, but we have it given a constant of zero, which means we just want you to stay off right now. Uh, we're eventually going to hook up this timer, which you can see it's firing every uh, two times a second, so this light is blinking for us. Eventually we're going to take this connection, we're going to add a new connection over here to this random number generator. But one thing I want to point out first, these button controls have three states. So you can see it says press me and event is single event. If I double click on this, the properties dialog box pops up. And there are three different types of button response. It's once, so no matter how hard you press or long, it fires only once once uh, for that cycle, only one cycle of the simulator. If you have it as continuous, it will continue to fire uh, for the full duration of you holding the button down. Toggle, it'll just stay on or off after you've clicked it, so it toggles on or off. We want a single fire when we're using sound, otherwise you'll get some funky behavior. Let's do the continuous and you'll see. Let's do, we've got continuous sound for this one as opposed to single event. One. 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 So we get it gets a little sticky there. So one thing we want to do is go back, leave it as one, on for only one cycle of the simulator. One, 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 right back up, one, no matter how long we hold it. 
Uh, so what we're going to do here is let's stop again and we're going to go ahead and connect this timer event to the random number generator. Let's disconnect this. Um, by the way, inputs can only have one connection. Outputs can send multiple connections to multiple components, but a single input can only receive one command or one value. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that, remove the connection, and we're going to create a new connection here. Two. And then we're going to run our simulator. Two, three, two, one, four, four, three. You can see four, a random number being generated. Four, four, the three, segmenter two, segments it two, and fires three, one of these four components. Two, one, four, and now let's three, start the drums. One, two, one, three, two, three, one, four, two, two, three, two, three, three. And that's our sound and interactivity uh, demonstration.